Hey, what's going on everybody? Today, we're gonna be reviewing this amazing thing. I don't know when you guys are seeing this review, but this thing is actually two days from release date. I got it early from my local Target, so this thing is epic. This is the Marvel Legends 80 years anniversary kind of thing. Marvel's Colossus and Juggernaut. This thing is awesome. I do not um, have the Juggernaut Build-A-Figure, and this is just a totally new Cyclops, or er, Cyclops, Colossus. I'll probably call them Cyclops because they sound the same to me. So, here's the front of the box, looking super awesome. You can see the, my light's in the way, 80 Years logo. And then if you have any other of the Marvel 80 Years packages, it looks basically exactly like this, except for the X-Men, and then these two things will change in probably smaller packaging because these things are massive. So, looking at the side here, Zooming out of, out of the review table, we can see some nice comic book art of the classic Juggernaut and some nice classic comic book art of Colossus. Of course, they're on their respective sides. And then the back of the box looks very nice to me. It looks pretty good around the outside, kind of leaves some area black. It's nice looking. You can see Legend Series there. Um, you can see the classic comic book, which uh, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure this is the first time that we see Colossus and Juggernaut in the comics. I don't know. Nightcrawler, I'm excited to get him pretty soon. That's going to be awesome. Got picture of Colossus, picture of Juggernaut, and then their bios. You can go ahead, pause them, read them if you want, then 80 years logo right there. Let's go ahead and pop these things open. Ugh. Okay guys, starting off, we're gonna do Colossus because we gotta save Juggernaut best for last. So, starting off with this figure, this is kind of a figure that I'm like, dang, I gotta buy this pack to get Juggernaut because I don't want Colossus. But it's growing on me. It's an okay figure, if you ask me. I know a lot of people just love this figure and bought the are buying the pack for that. But it's it's, it's an okay figure. I just wanted a Juggernaut, so it's pretty good. I like the metallic paint on it. They did miss for some reason. They missed the arm right there on the metallic paint. I don't know why. Taking a closer look at this figure, the paint detail is actually pretty nice. You can see they d actually did this paint really well here looks pretty good no sp not really any splotchiness there you can see they did get a little bit messy I guess right there if you want to be really nitpicky I know some people just like would say that's a p terrible paint job and tear it to shreds but whatever if you want to be that nitpicky go ahead then just like the head even just looks really nice I know this is just a recycled piece from the other Colossus that everybody hates but I think actually kind of looks cool um, but the head articulation on it is actually pretty nice I'll go over that in a second it. Um, this right here is actually kind of rubbery again to help with the articulation paint looks very nice on it then looking at the back not too much to see I like how they have the like the stretched shirt I like how they had got like the metal butt. it looks really metal and like square it's kind of funny um, I guess there's a little bit like where they put too much paint here and it kind of got splotchy but it's not that bad kind of went over on itself looking at the arms one really bad thing that they kind of did with this is the lower arm right here it just is way too big like taking this hand off it's not that hard but for example it doesn't look that bad with this hand but if we take the fist hand for Colossus and put him on it's just ridiculous how I don't know just they messed up the biceps so bad not bicep I keep saying bicep might be bicep I don't know the lower arm I'm just gonna say that it's just the hands so small it looks ridiculous like you have to just have these hands on them because just that's way too small but you can just see like that's ridiculous the size proportion on that at least make the hands bigger to fit it this is it's ridiculous right there Probably should have put a counter for how many times I said ridiculous, but looking at the lower torso, lower torso here, you can see the belt moves up and down for the articulation, so it doesn't get in the way, but it kind of, it's kind of cool because it kind of shifts with it, which looks pretty nice. Pretty good detail on the um, knee pads, I like how they did that, how it's like in that joint, it's an extension of that joint, looks very good. And then looking at the feet, another massive problem here. I keep hitting my camera, but another massive problem here is the feet. They look so weird. So basically how Colossus, the kind of feet he's supposed to wear are like these kind of feet right here where it's just like not, not that size, of course bigger, but he's wearing like a spandex kind of suit, right? Because he's steel, he doesn't need tough shoes or anything because he is a tough shoe almost. Um, so he's wearing like this thin outer layer of his feet just so he's not showing his feet off. 
but it's supposed to look like this where the foot goes in and then out because there's no bone there or anything it's just empty space your foot does not stand out there but Hasbro thought it'd be good to give him a tumor and stick it out right there you can see how wonky that looks and then they gave him like Crocs it looks like he's wearing Crocs you can see he has like weird boots and stuff but yeah they just messed up the feet messed up the lower arm but other than that it's actually pretty good now let's go ahead and take a look at his articulation one thing is I have a heck of a time trying to get him to stand you can see kinda got him leaning forward I guess that kinda looks okay but I don't know he seems to tip over a lot for me just in a normal pose but one quick thing I did find out is if you guys got the Reaper Overwatch figure, I do not recall if I did a review on that yet or not, because I have it. I don't know if I did a review. <laughs> it might be up late or something. But if you put the, his blast effects from his guns in his hands, it actually looks like he's shooting a blast from his hand. I know Colossus doesn't do that, but it just looks super epic to me. I don't know why I like that so much, but I think he's going to go on my shelf <laughs> with those in his hands because it looks awesome. But before I get distracted again, the articulation is pretty good on this figure. Uh, missed the double jointed elbows though in this pack, but it's fine. His head moves up that far, very good range of motion on the head. Moves down that far, buries the chin, if it would go down all the way. Moves down farther than you'd ever need because that looks weird. Got a little bit of head pivot, not too much, and then move side to side 360 <laughs> looks super weird kinda loose but not anything to worry about on the head really looking at the shoulders you can see it moves in that far moves out to 90 a little under actually but about 90 then moving it it goes 360 these sh shoulder pads are rubber so you can push it through and it kind of warps it but if you leave it like that it will warp it permanently um, pretty much unless you go with a hair dryer for a while with it but to like avoid that you can just move it out that far and then it's basically as far as it would get anyway but it just you're not gonna mess with that and then you get some rotation at the shoulder and then single jointed elbow moves in uh, that far then got a swivel at the wrist and up and down Move down that far, up that far. Then looking at the ab crunch right here, ab crunch moved down that far, pretty good. Back farther than you'd need because it just looks weird. And the sculpt just stops there, so you don't want to move it back that far. And they did really bad right here where they didn't make it flow in, they just like cut it and it looks really bad there. You can see it just, it's bad. And then the waist swivel, you can move it 360, and the belt doesn't really get in the way too much because it moves out of the way by itself, so you don't have to like mess with it too much. When you do turn it and then put it back, it will be moved up, so you do have to push it down after that. And then the hips move out that far, which is pretty good. Back, not so much because they run into the butt. Moves out that far, and then you get a swivel right here that moves 360 as always, and you get a double jointed knee right there knee pad looks very nice how that moves and then on the stupid feet you get an ankle moves back that far you get a ankle pivot right there and then it basically doesn't move forward at all looking at the back of the joint on the knee that's a tongue twister for me um, I like how they actually painted it because it's molded in red but I like how they painted it for the silver on the calf no, that's the calf down there. I don't know. <laughs> Hip. Um, but you can kind of see some of the red bleeding through on it. But, I mean, it's nice that they even tried to do that. And then, of course, the only accessories he has are the pair of extra fists. No extra heads or anything. Okay, now, taking a look at Juggernaut. This is a super cool figure. If you don't have the Juggernaut Build-A-Figure from before, 2016, I think it was. Because that, that one was so hard to get until this guy came out. This is an amazing figure right here. Just the detail and just a lot of people don't like a lot of the things about it, but I think it's amazing. Getting a closer look at him, he's super cool, just crazy detailed. I love this figure. Um, he's really heavy. Like he's he's not a pound, but he's he's high in the ounces. Not Hulk, not 12 inch Marvel Legends Hulk, but he's pretty big. Real quick, I'm going to go over the head. They did change this head from the last Build-A-Figure version of him, and they made it more of a rounded, not like a smooth 
head and it just looks really good how it turns out it's a very much a dome like a slides down and it looks like it's almost part of the body with the other build a figure it was like a dome and it looked really weird but you can see the detail in there is really nice I like how they did kind of mess up on the teeth in there but it looks good it looks like he has chipped teeth almost and then the white eyes is kind of weird but I've kind of warmed up to it and then he does come with an extra head sculpt and extra helmet kind of thing because this right here is just sculpted on to the head the helmet so it, it's rubber but it's attached for sure so if you want to take it off you can see you take both of them off but he comes with an extra head and helmet of an unmasked oh my gosh there we go I'm not cutting that out because you see how hard it is to put on you can see an unmasked beat up version of him you can see the swollen lip the purple eye because I guess Colossus just punched him in the face real hard and then you get this helmet right here which you can see the indents in there and those just kind of go around the figure like this and it's kind of tricky to get on but once you get it on it looks pretty good there we go I kind of got it like that right there it's kind of hard to get in the right position but you can kind of see how it's supposed to look I don't know it just doesn't work too well for me I don't know if it just doesn't line up or my model is weird but that's about how you get it. and it's nice because it looks like his helmet's been busted open because that's his only real weakness but taking a look at his arms and everything they still have like sculpted detail in the like arm bands although the helmet doesn't have it so people are kind of confused about that but it doesn't really bother me same arms and everything the only thing is the arms and legs seem to pop off like the build-a-figure pieces because it's a recycled build-a-figure piece the arms pop off really easily but you can just pop them right back in and it doesn't make a snap or anything but you can kind of almost tell it's in it's just it's I don't know it, it's fine it doesn't bother me that much then the detail on the ab crunch looks pretty good except for if you go up too high like that you can see there's no line there and it kind of cuts off and you can see some dents in there so like that is really as high as you want to get it unless you're like not looking at the front of him and then it's pretty good this is kind of unique how they have like the dent in there how they did that it's kind of odd and then not really any more paint except for down here and you can see how they kind of messed up the paint on the boot but it doesn't look that bad and then looking at the articulation on this guy, it's not the best, but it's not the worst for how big he is. He's very like an imposing kind of stature. I really like it. It's just an awesome figure. But going over the articulation before I get distracted, you can see the head moves that far up and then that far down. But it's, it's pretty good. I mean, it's not much movement. Then no real pivot in it. And then it gets a 360 swivel. <laughs> That's just... It's weird, I don't know why you'd need that 360, but it's there. Then on the arms, you can see you could move it out that far without popping it out on both arms. And then you get a swivel 360 at the arm joint right here. And you get a bend at the elbow that kind of, the wristband kind of interferes, but it gets down not quite to 90. But, I mean, it's good popping that in. The joints are very nice and tight, no loose joints on Colossus or Juggernaut, even though the head has kind of gotten loose on Colossus for me. But, you know, doesn't quite bend at 90, but it's enough for Juggernaut. Then on the hands, you get 360 swivel up or down all the way like that, not much. Then up, you get a little bit up. And then he does come with two extra hands, which I forgot to go over. You can see two extra hands right here. You get a grabbing splayed out, like can't really grab anything hand here. That's my computer in the background. And then you get a like kind of more clenched down like holding someone's face up like that or something I don't know but it's actually kind of cool he does have sausage fingers like everybody says um, and then these bands are separate which you can take off this one is kind of easy to take it off right there is like brass knuck concrete knuckles red concrete brick knuckles I don't know and then you just get a normal hand if you really want that look this one is kind of hard to get off you might have to cut it off for this one because it's kind of splayed out and it's kind of hard to get it around but this one it's easier because he's in like a more of a splayed in position with his hands and then for example putting one of these on it pops off pretty easily and then pops on not too hard to do unless you're on camera there we go oh gosh put that on it kind of actually hurt my wrist a little bit but you can see you can get some different looks for juggernaut if you really want to and then for the ab crunch you can get that far back not too far back and then you can get crazy far forward for his running positions 
you can get him to go that far forward for his running positions, which is like perfect. It's awesome. And then you get a good click there when you tip, turn it, um, put it down there and take it off of that position. Then on the waist, you get a 360 swivel, no belt to interfere with it like the last build a figure. Then on the hips, it's kind of meh. You get it to move out that far, not too much. You get it to move basically not back at all because of the butt. And then it moves out that far, <laughs> basically not out. And then you get a 360 swivel here, kind of, I guess, yeah, you can make it go 360 if you want to. Then you get a bend at the knee, which is tight, but it goes back not even to 90. Then for the ankle, you can get moving forward that much, that far back. Actually, a little bit more that far back, pretty good. And then you get a ankle pivot. And then putting them together, they look very well scaled to each other. Colossus looks like the right height. Juggernaut looks like the right height. I love how tall Juggernaut is. And Colossus comes in at seven and a half inches tall, and Juggernaut comes in at nine and a quarter inches tall. And here they are standing next to Wolverine. And your normal six inch scale figure, for example, No Pants Deadpool. Also, if you have a bulldozer figure, take the head off your bulldozer, pops off super easily, and take this extra head sculpt if you're not using it, and put it on bulldozer. He looks like a champ. But overall, I really love these two figures. $60 for anything is a steep price, really, um, especially if you're my age, but it's worth it if you can shovel over the money for it, because it's, it's pretty awesome. If you don't have the Juggernaut, this is totally worth it. It's a super awesome pack. Kind of eh for the Colossus for me because it's got a lot of QC, not QC, kind of QC issues. It's just, it's weird. Juggernaut's awesome. Bought it for Juggernaut. Still love Juggernaut. So, recommend it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, make sure to drop a like. If you really found it helpful or you really enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Stay tuned after this intro because I give awesome photos. Peace out.